Hey everyone, I'm Boy the Gamer back with another World of Warcraft video. Today I'll show you how to get the Grand Wyvern for Horde and the Grand Griffin Mount for Alliance. It's a one time quest line for two mounts, one for each faction, and both unlocked at the point of completing the quest line with one character. In this video, I'm playing Horde, but I'll put a link in the description with a guide for both mounts. Before I continue the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned for more WoW content and to support my channel, which I'm very grateful for. So as I mentioned, I'm playing a Horde character at max level, which is level 70 in Mist of Pandaria Remix. You can do this in retail, but I just found it easier to complete in Mop Remix. So as a max level Horde, you go get the quest Meet the Scout in Veil of Eternal Blossoms. It's basically the start of your adventure for these mounts. Keep in mind it's a long quest line with about 60 plus quests involved and a lot of back and forth traveling across Pandaria but also some interesting places in Azeroth. If you follow up the quest line as I noted in the description, you should be able to mark every quest in line without panicking if you skipped or missed out any quest. It's a long but easy journey with a nice reward. I played this through with a friend uh, which made it easier and more fun in a lot of ways. However, I found that some quests tend to kind of bug when played by two players, especially this particular quest, which puts you in the scenario Dagger in the Dark. Things get buggy at stage 4, when players are supposed to take a boat ride inside a cave. Only one player can enter the boat, and the other just kind of tags along from the sideways, dealing with mobs inside the cave. Also, defeating the final boss inside the cave ends rather weird. Once you get the dagger achievement, your scenario is completed. Although, the ending kind of bugged for us, leaving us wondered if we could leave the scenario without forgetting something, which would lead us into doing the whole thing over again, or if we actually completed this quest. Turns out, once you get the achievement, it's just a weird ending and you can safely leave the scenario. If you find yourself stuck at some point in which you can't find the next quest, it's probably a reputation error. Just grind a few dailies until the next quest pops up. This happened for me in Camp Domination Point, you know, the Horde Camp back in Pandaria. Just get the next level of reputation and that should unlock your next quest. To be honest with you, I didn't like how much traveling is involved across Pandaria, especially flying the kite taxi which is pretty boring but great for bathroom or even snack breaks. However, I did like traveling back to Azeroth and ride across Durotar with Thrall or just invade Darnassus as a Horde character. Some quests were really fun with interesting or even sad story moments, while others were just go fetch stuff or kill mobs kind of missions. Without spoiling too much, I did enjoy the climax between Garrosh and Anduin. Completing this event finally rewards you with the mount of your faction and the upside faction as well the Grand Wyvern and Grand Griffian. Grinding more reputation lets you even buy the epic versions of these two mounts as well. And that's basically it. Follow the questline, keep up your reputation and complete this long chain of events to get a mount for each faction. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you do, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned for more World of Warcraft content. As always, thank you for watching and see you in my next WoW video.